tensions between Israel and Iran are hitting a crescendo, with the United States now trying to intervene in an attempt to defuse it from escalating further. United States President Joe Biden has warned Iran against the attack on Israel while sounding the alarm that an attack may be imminent. He said that he expects an attack sooner rather than later. Now, Biden also said that the United States is devoted to defending Israel. And yesterday, a report by the Wall Street Journal also quoted American intelligence officials saying that an attack could be launched in the next 24 to 48 hours. How imminent do you think an attack on Israel is from Iran, Mr. President? I don't want to get a secure information, but my expectation is sooner than later. What is, your, what is your message to Iran? What is your message to Iran right now? What is Mr. President, to Iran in this moment? Don't. Our American personnel Will at risk, Mr. President? Mr. President, Mr. Mr. President, are, President are American Mr. troops at risk as well? We are devoted to the defense of Israel. We will support Israel. We will defend, help defend Israel. And Iran will not succeed. Thank you very much. However, Iran has issued a counter warning and said that if America defends Israel, then U.S. troops in the region will be attacked. Meanwhile, Israel has said that it has prepared plans to respond to a possible Iranian attack. The tensions have mounted after an airstrike killed two Iranian generals in the Syrian capital of Damascus last week. Even as Israel did not confirm its involvement, Iran has blamed Israel for the airstrike and vowed revenge. Now we're crossing over to my colleague Pradeep to get us more on this. Pradeep, over to you. you rightly said, in fact, the fear of the regional escalation is going up, and these 24 to 48 hours are going to be really crucial. We've already seen that Hezbollah launched a a uh, rocket attack on uh, from the northern side where they tried to target artillery position. Fifty of the rockets, Katusha rockets were fired from the side, but because of the iron dome, most of the rockets got intercepted. But some of the rockets, uh, they were able to come down and land in an open spaces, so there was no casualty immediately after that. There was a, a retaliation from the Israel side also from day one. Ever since, in fact, the war has started. We have seen when Hamas on October 7 last year they entered inside the Israeli territory. All these proxies of Iran, uh, they had been trying to help Hamas. They had been trying to uh, escalate situation on the ground. But though the war had so far to, on the northern side remained confined only to the border because it's, Hezbollah, had been, that is a proxy of Iran, had been firing rockets, but they have never tried to escalate situation beyond border. But now it appears that the Iran will try to avenge uh, the killing of one of their general and uh, seven of the Republican guards who were killed in a consulate attack on Syria in which uh, their people died. So since then, Iran has said that they are going to avenge the attack and they will try to target Israel. And already we have seen that it very strong statement coming from the uh, Joe Biden, the president of the United States of America, saying that at any cost, we are going to support and ensure that all these attacks are thwarted by Iran. Meanwhile, there was a very crucial meeting that was chaired by Benjamin Netanyahu, the prime minister of uh, Israel, along with the defense minister, Mr. Gallant. And during that meeting, they discussed about the preparedness, how to counter any kind of a strike from the Iranian side, if they are going to launch the drone, how they have to counter that. Besides that, there was also a meeting with the commander of the CENTCOM, that the central command of the United States of America. And during that meeting, also, they discussed about the operational preparedness. Meanwhile, overall, if you look at the situation on the ground, the situation continues to remain tense on one hand. Now, there's hardly a day passes when there's no firing between the Hamas side and the Israeli troops because the IDF that has entered inside the Gaza, the firing and the encounter between them continues. But what is really a matter of concern right now for Israel is that even after months, they had not been able to take on Yahya Senevar. They had not been able to eliminate Mohammed Daif, who is considered to be Osama bin Laden of uh, Gaza because he's the one who had orchestrated the attack on October 7, in which uh, this Hamas terrorists, about 1,200 to 1,500 in number, they entered inside the Israeli territory, and 1,600 people were killed. And so now it is to be seen, unless and until the uh, Hamas leadership is not wiped out, the uh, tension uh, for the um, Israel continues. And meanwhile, Israel, right, now, Pradeep, Iran is Thank you so much for joining us. Unfortunately, we'll have to leave it with that. But thank you for telling us so much more about what's taking place on the ground as well.